Welcome to Griffin Golf Physics for Distance. My name is Ahan Griffin, and I am a senior at Lincoln High School. Today we are in the First Tee Classroom, my headquarters, at TPC Harding Park, the San Francisco home of golf. Today we are going to be applying Newton's three laws of motion and how they can increase our driving distance. Our first law states that an object remains at rest unless exerted by a net force. Our object is simply the ball on the tee. The amount of distance we can create is determined by the amount of force we can generate into the golf ball. The amount of force we can generate is explained by Newton's second law, which states that force equals mass times acceleration. This, we can increase the amount of force by the mass of the driver, which is just the weight. And our key variable, the acceleration, which is just the amount of club SB. We can simply create club SB using our bodies, but in order to maximize distance, in order to amplify distance, we must use our out an outside force, in this case the ground, to increase our distance. This outside force is explained by Newton's third law, which states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. This action is simply ground forces. The amount of downward pressure we can create will allow us to transfer more energy from the club bed into the golf ball, which will lead to more distance. So in conclusion, the amount of force we can, we can generate into the ground can increase our club bed speed which will maximize our distance and carry off the tee. Let's take it out to the course. So we're on the range, but we're gonna apply what we learned in the classroom in order to use the ground more efficiently to create more force and increase distance. Okay, we're gonna start with the setup. The setup is one of the most important parts in hitting a good golf shot. We want to have the, an athletic stance, like we're playing defensive basketball, really fully really dug into the ground, engaging our quad and our calf muscles, like we're digging into sand on the beach. Our initial move away into the backswing is an initial shift into the right foot. And at the top of the backswing, we have 80% of our weight into our right foot. It's at this point in the swing, we're able to generate that extra force that we talked about in the classroom. Now. For the downswing, our initial move is a push down and forward with the right foot. This will create that equal and opposite reaction that will generate, that will transfer into our body as we move into the moment of impact, which we have about 80% of our weight onto our left foot, and we rotate around that left foot into a balanced finish. Today, we learned a lot about the science behind creating extra power within the golf swing. But two words I want you to take away from this video is load and explode. You want to load up that weight in the backswing, and you want to push down and create that extra ground force that explode through the ball. As you can see, it's getting dark out here in the foggy San Francisco, and but I still have a lot of work to do. I hope you learned something today.